Mark just did some purple lab labs and take off the, the beans. It could either be used for cedar cooked beans and then the vine can go down underneath this citrus or this tree. Chinese. how prolific this is. The lab that just continues to grow up and we can continue to coppice it for mulch. And we're also harvesting some some algae from the pond. We have azilla and water lettuce here. Here's a chiso plant that you could probably save the seeds from. It also will just kind of volunteer here. nitrogen and protein. We have another leguminous vine here. And I think this is part of something else. This is part of what we just took off. So cut that up. And this is pigeon pea. It's basically planted for the same reason. So at some point we'll be coppicing this one as well. Laying it down behind that is uh, Lupiana. These are all the agroforestry trees you find in the tropics. And this will be coppice as well for a citrus that will plant there, the, the juvie that's already going into dormancy, and another citrus over here. We have a, a large bunch of papaya over there with it, its own. Lab Lab bean growing around that, and over there there's a huge amount of passion fruit. Citrus under the bananas. Uh, a huge tomato tree here. And black cherry tomatoes. And under here we have ground cover of Spilanthes with some volunteer. And this is a, a very valuable medicinal herb. It's antiviral, antifungal, antigenic, antimicrobial, and in this immune system. And these are all volunteer nasturtiums. And if we follow down over here, we've got... Let me just jump over here. This is a Bolivian sunroot, which is a tuber growing under the bananas, more purple lab lab, moving right into a ground cover of sea of sweet potatoes, mm -hmm. and under the olive, and the banana. And the banana? Wow. And then we have lemongrass, which we can actually cut this and put in the solar dryer. Mm -hmm. And we can harvest some sweet potatoes today if there are any around and there's a citrus there that's coming under here. Bank of 
really nice cucumbers. Again, always mixing wherever possible the annuals and the perennials, taking little opportunities in time and space. This is middle October, and we're still growing cucumbers. We'll probably have them for several months more. Their banana tree, we can harvest some more banana babies under there, and Let's go look at the across the way we have two two papayas. Peter, why don't you take these and pick the rest of the cucumbers here? It's only the big ones. The bottom ones um, ripen. First, we had one that fell off yesterday, so we're ripening that on the deck. And, uh, we have four, and these are so heavily laden that we had to support them um, under the sleeping platform up there. This one broke. Let me <laughs> put a splint on it. It seems to be uh, holding its own. Mm-hmm. 